Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir DL and welcome to the Aliens Blog and Math Tutorial. For today, we are going to talk about determining the time period of a simple interest. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, differentiate actual and approximate time. Number two, Determine the actual and approximate time of a given problem. Always remember, be persistent. Soon you will thank yourself for not giving up. What is the difference between actual and approximate time? Approximate time uses 30 days in every month. On the other hand, actual time uses the exact number of days in every specific month. These are the number of days in each month. For January, we have 31 days. February 28, March has 31 days. April has 30 days. May has 31 days. June has 30 days. July has 31. August has 31 days. September has 30 days, October has 31 days, November has 30 days, and December has 31 days. Please recite or memorize these things because it will be used on the problem that we will be solving later. Let's try to solve this one. Determine the actual and approximate time from March 3, 2009 to September 10, 2009. We are going to determine the actual and approximate time from March 3, 2009 to September 10, 2009. Always be reminded that approximate time uses 30 days in every month and actual time uses the exact number of days in every specific month. Since we will be starting on March 3, we will be subtracting 30 for the actual actual time or 31 for the actual time because March has 31 days minus 3, that is 28. Always remember that March has 31 days. That's why we will be subtracting 3 from 31. That's why the actual time for on this part is 28. For the approximate time, as we all know, for approximate time, we are always going to use 30 days. So 30 minus 3, that is 27 days. For April, for actual time, we have 30 days for April. Again, approximate, approximate time uses 30 days. On actual time, May has 31 days. On approximate time, has 30 days. June, has 30 days on actual time and 34 approximate time. For July, we have 31 days on actual time and 30 days on approximate time. On August, we have 31 days for actual time and 34 approximate time. We will be ending on September 10. That means 10 on this part and then 10 on this part. Always be reminded that since we will be starting from March 3, we need to subtract 3 from the actual time of March and approximate time of March to get the answer on the first part. The next thing to do is to add all these things in order for us to get the actual time from March 3, 2009 to September 10, 2009. 28 plus 30 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 plus 31 plus 10. The answer is 191. On the other hand, we will be adding the approximate time on this part. 27 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 10. The answer is 187. Actual time from March 3 to September 10 is 191 days. And actual approximate time from March 3 to September 10 is 187 days in total. Let's try to have another example. Let's find the actual and approximate time 
from November 18, 2010 to May 9, 2011. Again, always be reminded that approximate time uses 30 days in every month while actual time uses the exact number of days in every specific month. Since we will be starting from 18, we will be subtracting the actual time of November from to 18. That means November, November has 30 days minus 18. On this part will be 12. And for the approximate time, it's also 12. Because approximate time uses 30 days in every month. For actual time, December has 31 days. Approximate time will always be 30 days. January has 31 days on, on its actual time. For approximate time, we have 30 days. February has 28, 28 days. Then for approximate time, we have 30 days. March has 31 days on actual time and 30 days on approximate time. April has 30 days and on, act, on approximate time, we have 30 days. Since this one will be ending on 9, for May, it's 9, then 9. The next thing to do in order for us to know the actual time and the approximate time, excuse me, we are going to add this part and this part for approximate time on this part for the actual time. 12 plus 31 plus 31 plus 18 plus 31 plus 30 plus 9. The total for actual time is 172 days. And for approximate time, we are going to add 12 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 9. The answer is 171. The actual time from November 18, 2010 to May 9, 2011 is 172 days. And the approximate time from November 18, 2010 to, to May 9 is 171. We, we need to understand this part because this part will be used on our next videos for our next problems because it involves actual time and approximate time. Always remember, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Students, do not give up. Keep going on whatever happens, whatever comes on your way. Please do not give up. Thank you for watching, everyone. God bless you. See you on our next topic. Bye. God bless you.